been an issue of what you do in, what you do in front of the shopping center. And originally the plan had the sidewalk on both sides. Now that the land the land trust, you know, that land's not going to be developed for commercial purposes. It wouldn't seem to make much sense. But it's uh, there's there's no, there's not the money to do that, and there probably won't be for a long time. Um, Even with you know some money's the sidewalk, but you know I was down at Fort Williams before this meeting, and a citizen cornered me. Why is why isn't my sidewalk been fixed? So, you know, th there's always going to be sidewalks that need work. Mr. Chairman, yes, go ahead, Jessica. I would be interested in asking the treasurer, Mr. It's Jim. Was it Carney? Carney. Could I? Could he come to the podium for a question? Or would that be okay? Or. Well, uh, or well, I, well <laughs> I mean, how does the council? Feel? I mean, uh, uh, it, I mean, because I've got a question about further fundraising, uh, um, and I. Well, my I'd like to ask. My understanding would be that their goal was to get to the hundred thousand dollar mark, should this uh, motion carry today. Uh, so my understanding also would be that there would not be further fundraising, and Mr. Kearney's nodding his head. I suppose if the council didn't pass this motion, then there would be a different discussion. Okay, well then, because my, my other concern hearing from other, you know, fiscally conservative citizens in town was that if, if they were to raise 200000 I mean, that was what many people thought was the, the plan, um, then, then I, would, I would hope that they would continue, if, if at all possible. Um, I mean, if, if we vote this, I guess there won't be a need, but... but I just wanted to know. I, so I guess it's going to just stop at this point then. Well, I, again, I, I would assume that it would stop. Uh, on the other hand, if uh, another $50,000 fell into their lap, um, I mean, I don't mean to be flip, but if, if more money came in than was expected, I, I, I assume we could have a conversation about how we handle that. Um, but my understanding is that at least if I were in a private fundraising group and the full funding was then available, I, I would stop. I would stop. Yeah. So then, um, so just to be clear, there are no uh, funds in this list that would be po possibly used to offset pro property taxes, because that's a concern as well. So is that correct, Mike? I mean, this, the, the MDOT uh, grant that I mentioned, 326, would be, but nothing here would, could be used elsewhere to offset property taxes. I'll let the town manager respond to that. I, I thought there was the... No, you, you, you can always say that if, if you said the project's not going forward, we're not doing it, the 26000 that's left in the account would then be, you know, would become available for reallocation. Mm -hmm. The tax credit would not, the safe money would not, and the sidewalk money would, you know, it would be up to the council to do that. So, you know, it, it could revert to some of the purpose, some of it, but, but you would lose the, the $729,000 grant and the $100,000 contribution. You'd lose $829,000. Uh, Sarah had her hand up and then Caitlin. Um, <clears throat> I, just backing up to speak to the larger issue for a moment. First of all, I'd like to say I never, I never committed to it being 100% funded by either grants or private funding because I never thought that was going to be viable. In the back of my mind, I always assumed there would be some small portion that the town would have to help with. It generally goes that way in projects. I think of the, the, the turf that they raised over a million dollars and then were so tapped out at the very end, we contributed 150000 to finish the project. I thought that that was a win-win deal because we got a, a million-plus project for 150000 and I'd like to look at this project the same way. We're focusing very much on this relatively, if you look at the size of the project, quite small amount that we have to throw in to finish a very large deal. And the way I like to look at it is we're getting a million-dollar incredible pathway that we've been trying to get for... I don't, 25 years. The last iteration was what you mentioned, 06, but this has been coming before the council again and again. I think it started in the late 80s or 90s. My impression is the vast majority of the town is yearning for this, and I consider this the best bargain I've seen in a long time. So I will vote in favor of it, despite the fact that a very small amount will need to come from a fund that's already allocated. It will not take immediate tax dollars. So I guess that's my feeling. Right, thanks, Sarah. Caitlin, did you have your hand up? I just wanted to 
echo what Sarah was saying. I've lived in the town of Cape Elizabeth my entire life, and I've always considered Shore Road to be probably the most dangerous road in the town. And while no road is ever going to be safe, this is certainly going to make Shore Road a whole lot safer. And I think getting $729,000 to do that, and all we have to do is maybe spend 75000 from an infrastructure improvement program as a contingency. So if that money is not needed, it will go back into that fund and it won't have been touched. I think it is well worth putting this road, this pathway in to have some form of safety increased in the Shore Road. Thanks. Thank you, Caitlin. Are there any other comments or questions? Okay. Uh, the motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor of the motion? All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. We'll just uh, let the chambers clear out and then we'll resume in a few minutes. If you, if you could just clear out so we can resume. We're not insulted that you're sticking around to watch, you're not sticking around to watch the rest of our meeting. Uh, uh, I want to thank all of the folks who've worked so hard on this project. Uh, this is a very exciting time for our town and, and even the folks that, who have been opposed, uh, who have ultimately supported it, I uh, appreciate that as well. Uh, item. 29, excuse me, uh, I need my reading glasses, 89-2011, the In-by-the-Sea Liquor License and Special Amusement Permit. It is recommended that we approve the Malt, Venice, and Spirituous License for the In-by-the-Sea at 40 Bowery Beach Road, and also the Special Amusement Permit for Dancing and Entertainment. Uh, is there a motion? There is a motion. Second. Seconded. Any discussion? Yeah, I've just got a question. Go ahead, Jessica. I was just surprised that one needed a dancing permit. Um, <laughs> does anybody know why? Have you been answering we're, in, we're in New England. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that. I'm just like, curious. Know. It's state law. It's a state law. <laughs> Do you need a dancing permit? <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, it's required when you have liquor served on the premises. Uh, we learn something new every day. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor of the motion? Okay, the motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Uh, the appointments committee. Uh, Jessica, could you uh, yes. uh, yes. minister for the council? Yes, I'd be glad to. Um, we are recommending Jessica D. Simpson to the, to the recycling, recycling committee for a term extending to December 31st, 2012. Heartily. And is, are you uh, making a motion then? Yes, I'd like to move that we recommend her to the recycling committee. All right, thank you. Second. And the motion's been seconded. Discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Motion carries, thank you. Uh, the Fort Williams, excuse me, item number 91-2011, the Fort Williams Park use requests, the U.S. Coast Guard aids to navigation team, change of command ceremony. Uh, uh, the proposed date there is July 15, 2011, and the Arthritis Foundation walk, proposed date there is September 25, 2011. Is there a motion? So moved. Okay, okay. Uh, any discussion? A yes, quick Caitlin. question. In the um, proposal, it said possibly June 25th or September 25th. Is it firm that it's September? I was just reading the materials. I thought it said possibly June 25th. Okay, for the uh, postcard? The Arthritis Foundation oh, the, uh, Walk. Thank you. Mike, is that date firm for the Arthritis Foundation Walk, September 25th? I'd have to look. 
can, can you? Uh, I, oh, he, it, he, in the yeah, letter, I, yeah, I. You have the letter, Caitlin. It I, says I, that I'm interested in the morning of June 25th or September 25th in parentheses. Could we uh, amend the motion to allow both dates? Who made the motion? Jim. We so made it. Yeah. Okay. And you accept that exactly. amendment? Okay. Thank you, Caitlin. Uh, any other questions or comments? Okay. All those in favor of the motion as amended? <coughs> motion carries unanimously. Right? Okay. Anybody opposed? Okay. Everybody voted in favor of that, correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Did you vote? I did. Okay. All right. People were quick on the uptake. Uh, item number 92-2011, this is the Town Center Review Report update. Jessica, did you want to make a motion? Yes, I move that we table item 92 until the June Council meeting. And, once it, and is there a second? Second. And once there's a tabling motion and there's no discussion, mm -hmm. we just will vote. All those in favor of the motion? All right, the motion carries unanimously. Um, item 93-2011, the Central Main Power easement. Uh, as part of the update of the Spurwink Avenue treatment plant and pump station, Central Main Power needs easements on municipal property. Uh, so at this point, we would entertain a motion to authorize the town manager to execute those and easements. And a form uh, to be approved by the town attorney. Okay. Is there a motion? Okay. Did you get that, Deborah? I did. All right, thank you. Uh, is there a second? Thank you, Jim. Any discussion? Questions? Can I, is this just a temporary easement or it's just oh, no, oh, an always easement? This is an always easement. <laughs> Fairly common, isn't it, Mike, for it is. CMP to? It is. Okay. Any other questions? All those in favor of the motion? Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Item number 94 2011, the Community Services Advisory Commission Work Plan. Uh, it is recommended that we receive the 2011 work plan for the Community Services Advisory Commission. Is there a motion? Sarah? I move we receive the 2011 work plan for the Community Services Advisory Commission. I'll second. Jessica seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Motion carries unanimously. Um, let's see. Uh, do we, before I get to item number 95, 2011, with, which is an executive session request, oh, I'm sorry, there it is. This would be an opportunity for citizens to discuss items that are not on the agenda, however it appears the chambers have cleared out. So uh, we can then move to the last item, which is 95-2011, uh, an executive session request. It's there. Do I have a motion? So moved. Uh, so you're moving that we go into executive section in conformance with one MRSA section 405-6C? Correct. Seconded. The town manager has me well trained. I think we're supposed to <laughs> reference the statute. Um, any discussion? All those in favor of the motion? Okay, so we will go into executive session. Uh, we will go off the air now. Uh, when we adjourn the executive session, we'll come out and adjourn the meeting. Okay, thank you. Thank you.